Hello, hello, hello. This is Frida. Welcome to my channel. Today I have received some uh, fiber that I purchased. One from Ontario, one from BC. Okay, this one I purchased before. So this is new to me. And she sent it in a nice prepaid package. I did not pay shipping. I paid $157 for the... Uh, oh, wow. And then she puts it in a envelope nicely packed oh look at this here it is here's her information if you're in canada it's written french i don't know french but at least she wrote it in english <laughs> thank you hi you will find to enclose the fiber from b white snow white joe's sister uh, thank you. Thank you for your support. Uh, your purchase means a lot on our fiber farm. That's why I would like to support small businesses. I included an extra ounce as a gift. Oh my goodness. Thank you so much. Yeah, an extra ounce is like $15 plus, right? This is so nice. I love the handwriting. Okay. Uh, I usually never receive gifts, but this is... Uh, oh, look how she packed it nicely. Oh, my goodness. Look at this. Oh, wow. Here's her business card. It's Angora Rabbit. It's in French. I don't have a clue. Food saver. Oh, she must have packed these. Two ounces. Two ounces. I bought whatever she had. Two ounces. Two ounces. And then three ounces. So, so I bought ten ounces. And plus, she gave me a free gift, one ounce. So, thank you so much. Uh, I want to see. See, there's a little bit color in it, but that's okay. So, I'm going to be um, spinning a uh, yarn. Oh, my scissors all the way at the, at the other. Let me just clip it here. There's no opening on these, right? Just want to see the texture. Oh, I need to get my scissors. Let me just pause this and I'll be right back. Yeah, I've been collecting uh, locally. I'm buying local from Canada because I don't want to pay custom fee. It's, it costs me too much. Too much, right? So anything we spend over $20, we pay. Custom. Oh, this feels like silk. Satin. Oh, it feels like satin. Oh, wow. This is nice. Very clean. So I'm going to spin these. These are raw uh, fibers, so I will be washing them. So she was measuring it was like two to three inches. Yeah. And you look at this, see? Here's the fiber right here. You can see it. See how long this is? It feels like it's satin. Uh, satin angora. Yeah, I have to spin this so uh oh I have a new technique that I want to share it with you. I don't think it's out there, I just made it up. <laughs> While I was making, knitting that coat, making fiber for it. Oh, this is nice. You put it in a huge envelope. See how organized? So, stay tuned for that tutorial. I want to spin uh, to make it fluffy. That's what customers are aiming for. Just want to put the mold back in there. And this is the box. So let me see. It will never go in the hell. Oh, well, it could go in. 
Okay, I can put this back later. Let me open that other envelope and uh, you guys can compare it, right? Uh, I did do an unboxing. First time when I bought it. So uh, she messaged me. She said that uh, she had more fiber. On that one, I, the first package that I opened, I did not pay shipping. On this one, I believe I paid $12 for shipping. Let me just double check. So her, this is her address. And I will put the link below where I bought them from. It's from Etsy. Uh, I usually go on Etsy when I'm looking for uh, fiber or anything because I don't want to go to other links that I don't have a clue. I don't see any feedback, right? That's another thing. So for this one, I paid $44, shipping included. Let's check the receipt. And uh, it's called Dandelion Angora. That's the Etsy shop. So I paid $12 for shipping. I paid $2.10 cents for tax and thirty dollars for the fiber these are all in canadian and the stamp says it's under two dollars so ten dollar went to her pocket that's okay i'm, I'm not making a big deal because i know how it works it's not easy because i'm going to uh, american post office here in edmonton that's what i call it and i have to drive all the way down there i know and it goes faster for the buyer. The buyer, the customer receives it faster, but I have to drive, right? That's another thing. Like I don't walk to Canada Post to drop a package. I drive, but that's okay. So uh, $10, I, I, don't, I wouldn't care that much. Okay, let me just, I don't want to cut the fiber. Well, this time to put this on, on a bag. Last time, remember, it was uh, not in a bag. <laughs> but that this time she did, so that's good. Okay, here we go. Oh, no, she didn't put it in a bag. Okay. That's all. okay. Yeah, this one feels like satin, too. Oh, she was sending me different, different colors. Uh, so this is called Fawn Sample. She has 10 ounces available. Huh. If I make any sales, I will definitely buy all of them from her. At least I can make a bolera out of this color. It's like more of a cream beige color, ivory color compared to white. You know what I mean? Compared to this. So I might go back to her. This one. Uh, she, this one is like more of a grayish. I can't make anything out of this. I'll tell her if she has about 10 ounces, I might buy it. But again, I need to make sales. I haven't made sales for a long time. Yeah, she dumps it in these envelopes. Have to be careful. When I compare it to that one, they do feel the same. So I can mix that one. But that's 10 ounces. I can make a Bolero out of that one. But this one, uh, so I'm collecting hers as she has more because she said she she doesn't have any so that will take three to four months maybe for the bunnies to uh grow their hair grow their fiber yeah see how easy i don't even even have to card this yeah i'm planning to make a new uh See how fluffy it is. This is well when I card it. Yeah, I did. I do have a tutorial, but um, this one I don't have to. Um, uh, the method that I want to try, the new technique, I'm not gonna card it. I'm just going to, uh, cause I want these hairs to pop out. Right? See, this is pretty long. That's what I'm aiming for, cause when I spin the yarn, I want it to be fluffy. So this is Angora Rabbit from the Angora Rabbit. And uh, see the fiber, how it's tangled. This isn't. Yeah. 
So I just wanted to share you this unboxing. I had two, uh, they came, both came at the same day. <laughs> yeah. See, you can card it by the brush, but uh, my wrist hurts, so that's why I use the carder. I hope you like this unboxing. If you haven't subscribed to my channel, please do subscribe, share it with your family and friends. And if you're going to be, if you're following me, if you have subscribed to my channel, I have a live stream tomorrow. I'm planning to do it around noon mountain time where I live in Edmonton, Alberta. So stay tuned for that. I will be uh, doing a live stream. You guys take care and I'll see you on my next video. Bye-bye.